Okay, going to set the programmer now for a seven day programme. Going to keep it very simple uh, as if the property is occupied full time um, and then just have a setback temperature overnight. Uh, with air source heat pumps, you want to try and keep the fluctuation between um, your occupied and unoccupied uh, temperatures as little as possible. The heat pump works best once it's got the home up to temperature and then can kind of wind back and just keep the property ticking over. It is actually less efficient if you put the heating in peaks and troughs uh, and the floor, typically if you've got screened floors, very slow to react. It's not gonna be doing what you think it's doing as quick as you'd like it to. So it's best to just let the room stack govern the room, keep a steady temperature. That way your programming is very easy. Um, you're not wondering why it's going, not doing what it's doing immediately because you know it could take hours for a screen to start to cool down. So really um, keep it as simple as you can and let, and let the room stack do the work to keep your room comfortable. So I'm going to start it whilst it's in auto mode. If you press the end mode uh, to actually put the heating uh, into manual mode, it's not gonna wanna put a program in. So you can have to go back to auto mode and we we'll press the M button to start the programming off and press and hold a day to do the full seven days. I'm happy with that. It's M to confirm on these, it's not tick, it's M. So we're gonna start, let's say we get up at 7.30, I'm gonna do a 6.30 start so that the heating can get up to temperature. I'm happy with that start, and I'm happy with that temperature for program one. Moving into time two, I'm actually just gonna put them all um, at the same temperatures uh, for this particular example, just because we're gonna do it as an occupied home for the whole day. So we're gonna move over and change that one to 21 degrees. So that would be up to eight, taking us up to eight, um, from 6.30 to 8.30, then from 8.30 to 11.30, it would have been the 21 degrees we've just done. Just gonna keep the time the same here. Take that to 21, and I'm gonna do the whole same for the whole day, going through the different programs. To keep it a steady state. We'll do a separate video for going up and down different temperatures. So this one's still 21, and then 10.30 at night, let's say let's say you go to bed at 11 o'clock. First of all, try your heating turning off at 11 just to see how it starts, uh, sorry, at 10 to see how it starts to cool down for when you go to bed. And then this temperature here will be your overnight temperature while you're in bed. So we don't wanna let that drop too much. I'm gonna do that as a setback temperature of 17 degrees overnight, starting from 10 p.m. And that will take you right the way back round through to your morning where you want 21 degrees at 6.30 a.m. that we did. So that is a program now that has been installed for the full seven days. It's very, very simple. It's basically 21 degrees from wake, um, from 6.30 a.m. till 10 p.m. at night. Uh, it typically covers most situations. If you are leaving the home unoccupied for most of the day, you can set back the, the room temperatures in the rooms uh, as long as you put the heating on early enough again for it to recover. But it really that the property especially if you've got a new build it's going to benefit from just staying at a steady state the heat pump prefers to do that and then just let the um let the slab cool down overnight a little bit so that uh, it's not working round the clock and in most cases that will be sufficient thank you